So we started in 2020 with a supply chain traceability using blockchain. Right now we are a progressive company into the climate tech using Web3 blockchain technology, also creating a lot of impact on climate change. We started with uh, learning with the technology in 2020, so to say. By 2021-22, we are mature with the uh, technology on the supply chain, on the traceability side. Then we thought of why not apply in the climate action on the climate change, addressing the double counting, addressing the authenticity issue of your climate data. So that has provided us a boost. So it's a, it's a kind of a natural progression. So you can't talk food and agriculture without climate. So it's a kind of a natural progression, but again, the opportunities are pretty big right now. You know, the whole globe is running after climate and the, the challenges on the climate data side. So that's why we want to focus on the climate data, how to provide a quality data, a traceability of the data and climate action should be properly reported. That's all. See, when you talk about the global, uh, global climate change initiative, the corporates, or the countries are rushing towards mitigating the climate risk. We, that means if a corporate creates a carbon footprint of let's say 100 million tons, where he has to mitigate? So we have got those data sets, we have got those climate actions where he can come to us and buy the, those carbon credit with a complete traceability. So these are the carbon credits which is not device out of our own ways. These are the defined process and methodology which are defined by Clean Development Mechanism, Gold Standard or VERA. These are the data sets what we create and we get it verified and they can come and mitigate it. So, world is for us. So, the customer if you ask us, right now we are focusing into Middle East and the Europe and the US also as a climate customer. So, if you look at climate data, by 2030, people are expecting it to be something around $400 billion opportunity. So everybody will have a pie onto that. So yes, when, if you are looking at the Mid-East, the, the Southeast Asia, India, these are the prominent market because a lot of climate actions happens here and these are the good opportunity what we are looking for. And in a, in a, it's, it's a kind of a $100 billion opportunity what I say by 2030 for if you look at the India subcontinent, that sort of a climate data. 17% of the greenhouse gases in India are produced from agriculture, particularly paddy. Now, when you talk about the paddy, paddy uses a lot of water and lot of uncontrolled water, I would say, and lot of uncontrolled uh, fertilizer. So chemical fertilizer. So if you correct all those things, your emission is going to get reduced. So we have got certain process and methodology called alternate weighting and drying, what we digitally converted. In fact, we have got application, we measure those. So the moment you reduce, the moment you reduce or sequest any kind of a carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, you are eligible for you are eligible for carbon credit. So this is a measurement where Indian farmer helps to reduce the carbon dioxide footprint in the globe. So that's how they are eligible and that's how we create values for them. See, three things are happening. If you do a control practice, your productivity is going to improve. You are earning a additional revenue for your uh, for, for, for your uh, produce, uh, for your package of practice, what you do. Also, you create a less carbon footprint or you contribute towards the environment. So these are the good benefits which are happening. Uh, so three benefits as I told you. We have got certain aggregator companies, we have got uh, certain APOs. So APOs can connect with us, we can enable digitally with them and create that impact. They need not connect us directly but again there are a lot of APOs, intermediary and the, and the aggregators who are working with the farmer to create these sustainability uh, practices and farmer can value from them. So farmer can also directly reach out to us in terms we are going to connect them with those uh, APOs and aggregators. AGHUB has given us a beautiful opportunity to grow multi -fashion. Let me tell you, through AGHUB, we have created a bigger impact for 40,000 
farmers in Tandu region getting their GI geographical indication for their Tandu dal what they produce. So this is impacting around 40,000 farmers improving their lifestyle. This is the biggest contribution. Agrab has contributed us providing those those elements where we can do a field trial. We created a couple of products on the seed traceability with the help of Agrab. So it's a kind of a Agrab has given us an outreach ability, given us a platform to experiment, given us a platform to come out of new products and get connected with the farmer ecosystem. Yes, Agrab is a good uh, opportunity. They have given us a good opportunity to scale up our uh, startup. Rather, Agrab has given an opportunity to innovate ourselves and get into a perfection in short time.